Uh, let's deliver. This is my iterative process to life and anything I like working on. Barack Obama. Doom, 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 doom. And then I just... But for someone who's really, really fat, I mean like hyper obese. <laughs> the lovely intro. Good morning, you tiny winky. Just saw a video. The Chinese, what is going on over there? They have some schools that are completely set up with AI for monitoring their kids. I'm talking how many times they look at their phone, whether they're distracted or not. Um, jackets that have their location pinned to them. And it seems like it's just like a couple of schools and the parents have to sign off for it, okay, which is you know good and everything. But it got me realizing that they, these kids are wearing headsets that make them the data then gets sent to the parents, and from that data you can gather whether the kid was paying attention or not. Whether, you know, on track or distracted. So, of course, I started going down the rabbit hole and finding that you can buy these headsets yourself. But they're pretty pricey. So, well, the first one I saw was 450 which, you know, although expensive, isn't too bad. Especially with the next one I found that with a membership to be able to read the data is like 18 or 1900. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to create an idea, concept, send it to my manager as a pitch, and then hopefully he'll be able to see if we can get in contact with the company and hopefully get something get something, get a headset, maybe a, maybe a paid video, just to see what happens, see what it's like. I don't know. It's kind of mental to think that I'm in a position with like, social media that a company would want to pay me to make something or send a product. I, that's crazy to me, still crazy. I also made some tweaks to the thumbnails we made last night. I thought, well, immediately, sorry, from the analytics, you can see that um, click-through rate, which is the percentage of people that see the video or see the thumbnail and then click on it. And that went up from yesterday after we changed the thumbnails. But then I, I started thinking, I want the, uh, I didn't really think too much about contrast between the colors and the padded, cushioned room that I'd made. What is going on with, look at these clouds. What is that? It's like a wall. Wow. The padded, cushioned room like had some shadows and some shading, and I thought it should be more pure white. So I just made a couple of Photoshop changes there and adjusted all the thumbnails we made last night. And this, this is exactly why I hate doing bulk things in advance, is because I'll have the mindset, create it, create something, and then before I get to post all of that, I'm back in my head thinking, well, I could adapt this and change that, which means I'm redoing loads of work. And I know, you know, for that's probably good. You know, you're, you're improving, you're making things better but that means there's rework involved, which I think is a pretty shoddy thing to be doing. And I don't know if I've really explained my whole iterative process on life. I, I kind of explained it, I think, but uh, you know what? I'll explain it by drawing it when we get home. <laughs> I think it's really good. I think it's, I think it's a really good way to live life, time saver, and makes you more efficient or forces you to be more efficient. All right, I'm going to get a little treat for myself and for Ruby. Uh, we both really like cold pressed juices. I'm a, I'm a love, I'm a lover fan. Big fan of cold pressed juice. And I uh, maybe, I don't know, last winter, so maybe a year ago now, crikey, I made a video of eating at gas stations for 24 hours only that's when I discovered that Casey's do a cold pressed juice. And as f you know, from my limited knowledge of ingredients, the ingredients seem pretty good. 
and they're two for 550. So two glass bottles like this size, I'll just show you in a second. For 550, four different flavors. And ideally, I'd have one of these every day. But I feel like this is a luxury that we're not quite at yet. Like I think my biggest concern um, like in life is, is not in my abilities to generate enough money to survive, but it's gener generating enough income that we don't get into a position where like my wife has to go to work or Rugi has to do without, or like we have to change the type of good food that we buy, the healthy food that the wife buys. And I feel like if we get into that position, I failed. Now we're a long way from that position. I built up a lot of savings um, over the years that I haven't touched and hopefully don't plan on touching. That's like my fallback or our fallback. So yeah, little bit of a treat. Nice little treat. Yeah. The other concern, which is really bloody annoying, is that fruit has so much natural sugars, so many natural sugars, so much natural sugars, I don't know, that it ends up actually being not as good for you as I first thought. Like, I always thought growing up that eating fruit is the best thing for you but it's not because it's so high in sugar like what kind of a joke is this life everything that tastes good bad for you absolute doo-doo and if you ever told me that i'd be going to a petrol station a gas station to get my fruit juice like cold pressed juice i would have said well, I don't really know what I would have said. And you're like, you're an idiot. No, I wouldn't have said that. I would have said, nah, no chance. Could get the Midwest breakfast. It's a 44 ounce soda with a slice of pizza. I'm not even joking. Breakfast, breakfast, mega slice and medium fountain. So maybe that's not, maybe that's like only 32 ounces. Let me, sh I'll show you a 32 ounces for any of you that aren't American. Disgrace, oh gosh. Um, keys, I have the keys. Okie dokie. All right, here is the, I guess, medium drink, breakfast mega slice. That's, that's breakfast pizza. Um, you wanna see the, morning. You wanna see the breakfast pizza as well, actually. Come and look at this. It's really good. Okay, breakfast pizza. And medium drink. How many ounces is that? I don't know. I. I, um, I I'm all up for eating bad, right? Like unhealthy foods, I'm all up for it. Sorry, hold on. Here's the juices, look. You going in here? No, nah, go for it. All right, so we've got, I, I'm not even gonna read them out, but green and purple are the ones. Yeah, like the pizza. I'll, I'll just insert a clip now of me eating it last time and I'll, I guess I can tell you about it. All right, let me pay for these. Morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? Well, thank you very much. Uh, can I just have those two, please? Did you want a bag? No, I'm okay, thank you very much. I've been wanting to try one of these, but I'm scared it's going to be like really thick. 
Uh, it's really not that, honestly, they're so good. It's, it's like pretty watery and really not too, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not too pulpy. That's what so, I was afraid right. of. Like, sometimes it's good, but sometimes Right, do you want to try one now? No, thanks. Okay, I know that's weird, but. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Man, that was weird. Why would I have offered that? <laughs> Immediately, I could see the look on her face was like, oh, I don't, I can't believe you've asked me that. And going through my head is, I can't believe I've asked you that. <laughs> All right, let's go home before she tells everyone how much of a weirdo I am. Do you lot, if you're watching this, anyone watching this, do you think I'm actually kind of weird? Or am I just like in my head thinking I'm weird? Like I'm not saying like, oh, that's a guy you'd see on the street and be like, that's a right weirdo there. But just like I have a weird personality. Tweets my shoulder. Oh yeah, sorry. So, yes, this is it, right? That's that's a pretty decent juice, size juice for what is it like three dollars, three forty or something? I can't remember. And you go to a um, like a juicery, and you're gonna pay like eight to fourteen dollars for a juice. You know how like. Gamers will have a mini fridge that's stocked with Red Bull or some kind of um, caffeine drink. I'll have a fridge. I don't care if it's a Casey's fridge. Casey's, if maybe we can partner. <laughs> it's just a Casey's fridge, a gas station fridge, and all it is is just loaded up with cold pressed juice. I would take that. That would be like, Oliver, you have reached the stars today. Speaking of today, we are filming the fourth part of the needle mat video. And I'm not sure if, because we have two videos left that I have planned out and another one that I had the idea of the other day, which is, is putting numbing cream on and then lying down and seeing if I get the same effects. But the two videos that I have left to do are using a VR headset and just looking at videos of kaleidoscope stuff and see if that changes the kind of the um, pulsating circles that I have when I get to that hallucination stage, or the loud music. I feel like, um, yeah, let's do, let's do, I don't know, should we flip a coin? Oh, come on, you willy. Okay, heads is, uh, kaleidoscope, tails is the other one. <laughs> tails is the other one, and the other one was loud music. All right, we're doing the loud music and lots of lights today. Excited. Loud music and lights today, lovely. Oh yeah. Gas station cold press juice for the win. I don't know why. I use these stupid terms, like for the win. Why am I using that? I never use that normally. It's actually funny. In like just life, my wife and I will ironically say like Gen Z things to each other. Like, oh, that's fire. Dude, this food is fire. That's gas. Other words like that. I can't think of any others. But we use it, I think we use it so often in the ironic manner that it's now become part of our vocabulary between the two of us. Like, don't, like, please, I wouldn't be caught dead saying, oh yeah, that's fire out in public. You imagine you're at a Walmart checkout or like just then in Casey's. And like, oh, how's that juice? I've always wanted to try it. Oh, that shit's fire. It's so gas. 
kill me. <laughs> a little bit dramatic. So meant to have a call with Kenny this morning. Uh, first thing, by the way, if you want to be the best friend in your friend group, if you can't make it to something, let them know as soon as you know you're not going to be able to make it. So like this morning, Casey and I meant to jump on a call in 30 minutes. But he texted me about, you know, half an hour ago, said, I feel sick as a dog, going to go and check if I've got COVID. And like, that's something that should be appreciated is that he has, he's feeling like absolute crap, but he's decided that he, he resp that's a weird way to say it. Excuse me. He's respectful enough, that's a good way. He's respectful enough to let me know that he's not gonna make the thing that him and I had arranged. Like you should be that friend if you can. You know something else I've realized between my wife and I? Like to me, I'm constantly thinking about how I can be a little bit better every day, how I can improve every day. And I'm not talking like taking down notes saying I need to be 1% better every day. Let's wake up at 4 a.m. and then read a book on double speed and meditate while I fist myself or something. <laughs> But I want to be better every day, right? Like I want to have learned from the previous day or the previous thing I've been doing. But I've also realized, and it's been really helpful for me actually, my wife isn't that way. And that's not to say that she's you know, crappy every day. It just means that she's not constantly, her mind's not constantly ticking about doing something differently or being better. Like she'll improve and whatnot, but different mindset. And it's helped me in a way to be more relaxed and be more content, like, you know, in a good way content with what I am and what I've done and understand that getting to the place you want to be at, honestly, like, I don't know. I'm not really sure I fleshed out how that's helped me yet, but I do like the idea. Like, I think when it comes time that I'm struggling with something, her mindset helps me take a step back to think through, like, what the whole situation and realize that it doesn't have to be solved there and then. Like, you know, to step back and think about different priorities. There's a lot of times for other things around the house and life, I think that her and I have roles switched. Like I like things tidy and in place. She is not bothered by that stuff. And a few other things too, I'll just have to, I'll have to pick them out when they happen. All right, bruv, I just spent the last like 30, 20, 30 minutes looking at uh, the storage solution. Remember I mentioned that I need something because the, how much this is taking up and then swapping things between hard drives just make things way too confusing. So um, after all my research, I think this is the best choice, which is to get a couple of these drives, which are 14 terabytes each. Bearing in mind, something like this is two terabytes, but it's super fast. And I think this will run you about 100 or $200. And then you have something like this. So SSD, HDD. These are much slower and obviously much cheaper, but having to chop and change plugging in each one of these is just, it's, it's not that bad, but it's kind of annoying, you know? So the whole point here is that I get, imagine this, just much more storage on it, and then you can slide a bunch of these into a machine, and then you have just one USB cable that plugs from that machine into your computer. So now you have access to five of these that are much bigger. Now we're looking at, so these drives I found pretty cheap because they've been renewed, but they have a guarantee on them. So 170 for 14 terabytes. I'll get two of those for now and just get more when money allows. 
So the important thing is that these run at six gigabytes per second. Now, this bay is a little bit more expensive, about 15, $16 more expensive and runs at 10 gig per second. And I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah, that's, that's quite good. I'll just get that one. And I got to that one from the one that I think I'm actually going to get, which is 180 with, and then 20% off and runs at a max of five gig per second. It's not in the title here, but I think that's more likely what I need. So this is a renewed version. This one is a renewed version of that one. So let's delete you. <laughs> Balls, that's for an I, I don't know. <laughs> delete, and then, excuse me. I've got to check my address isn't on this page. Okay, it's not good. So, oh, only two and a bit grand in my cart. So that, that, and it looks like we're then all in for five hundred dollars. Okay, yeah, I won't show you this page. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs> and Saturday, October 21st, two days from now. That's not too bad, is it? Um. Like this, I mean, it's just like, no, yeah, I'll sign up for Prime for $2. Like that's, they got me so badly there because I was fine with waiting until it arrived. So I stopped recording, but essentially it's just a, as I'm at the checkout page, it's a pop-up that says, Try Prime for a week for a dollar ninety nine, and of course it auto renews, and it popped up after I changed my selection from paid delivery to free delivery. So it looks like hmm, all arrives tomorrow. Cool. Well, that is lovely, jubbly. Beautiful. All right, let's, this room is a real mess. So, sorry. What up, doodah? Shrek Crocs, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, let's start planning that video out. I promised, so let's deliver. This is my iterative process to life and anything I like working on. Oh, this would be smoother. Okay. Honey, you look perfect. Aside from mode my own manual, that's why. How do I want to do this? This is right. All right. When I talk through these things, like I'm obviously kind of, well not, I don't know if obvious is the right word, but I'm thinking through explaining it myself for the first time. Like I never really explain this to people. People have explained it to me and then I've adopted it and done it my way. Bro, come on. Those scalpels were meant to be super sharp.
So then when I explain it, we have to try and figure out what the hell I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to set this up. Um, that it's going to be, we have, oh gosh, idiot, design. Implement. Feedback. I just spelled it with a K because I don't have the space. All right, design, implement, feedback. I'm going to use a different pen because that one is sh shocking. Design. Implement feedback. And then we'll do we'll do one more for luck. What the hell? Now, part of my job was actually doing this on a day-to-day -day basis and teaching people how to do it. Now, I've just, I've just set myself up for being a really good teacher of what this is, haven't I? Whoopsie daisy. All right. Record you, I guess. So if we bring out our paper and we say that along this bar here, you have, this is you and your goal, right? Or product, that makes sense? Now you start off here and you need to create something to better yourself to get to either your goal or your product. So this three-step process, it's, I normally look at it differently, but on a process of iterating towards your goal, you would look at designing something, implement it, feedback. So you would come out of this starting loop, go into design, go into implement, go into feedback, and the feedback loops back into here until you then end up coming down here. And surprisingly, you uh, uh, I've done this arrow, <laughs> let's say here. So you would design, you would implement, and feedback. So you're coming out here, 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 back in and then it consistently goes round to design, implement, feedback. All right, so what's happening is, in my case, I make a video. So I start off as just a guy who wants to make a video. Let's say I'm posting my first TikTok or YouTube video. I design that video, I think of the idea I implement it, so I actually make the video, I, I put it online, and then I get the feedback with no C. And that is essentially the viewers, whatever they're commenting on, whatever they're, uh, whether they liked it or not, how long they watched it for. And then based on this feedback, you go along this journey from you to your goal, and you implement that feedback back into the next design, implement it, you get more feedback, and you go again into the next. So from every small iteration, you're learning and progressing forward from your mistakes, things you did well, continuing on. I'm just thinking of what the verse is, is now, what's the other thing you could do? The other thing you could do is the, what we call the waterfall method, 
which is do everything up front, which is, pick this up for a second. You would scrap that and you would take your journey. So you, um, what do I call it? Your goal or product. Right? And you do all of the design up front. Get all the design done. You figure out your whole TikTok, your whole YouTube channel, and then you just implement, and then you implement, and then you implement. And then, once you've done all of that, you take some time and you look at the feedback and you realize, oh crap, what I've actually designed and implemented is no good because the people don't like it. But that's too bad because you've already designed three times, you've already implemented three times, and now you're getting three lots of feedback at one time, and the only thing you can do now is just take that feedback and be like, all right, well, now that's going to go into the next time I do this. Design, design, design. Implement, implement, implement. And then you get more feedback and then you just carry on this loop. And every single time you do this, you're wasting, like in this case, three opportunities to improve. Honestly, that is such a waste of paper. I hate that. I mean, that's the exact reason I bought this paper for. But I'm not in love with the fact that I just wasted all of that. I'm not, not in the right place to make a decision on what I should do with that paper, if I should just straight recycle it or if I should, well, it's either recycle or do something else with it and I'm not in a place to decide that. Um, all right, we're about to move over to here, but I thought I'd look at the metrics from yesterday's video, the paid partnership needle map video. So we're, we're sitting at 20,000 views and we posted at one o'clock yesterday. That's not that good. So I'm like, sure, okay, well, obviously the metrics are really bad. Screen record, sorry. <laughs> Two, one. So yeah, metrics at the top here. Scroll down. The retention is really good. So at three seconds, we're at 72%. I'd say anything from 70% has always done well. And then when we go back to 10%, I just looked at a couple of other videos and they're the other videos that have done hundred, like 600 plus thousand and millions, they are all below 50%, 56% at 10 seconds. Yeah, I just like, the metrics here say the video should do really well. So I'm just, I'm waiting for it to pick up again because I think it will. But that's really, that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Barack Obama. All right, let's um, start working on this now. Okay, so um, wife went to Walmart and she, I asked her to pick this up while she was there. So this will be for the loud video today. And I actually, I noticed something very recently that I haven't seen before, was that a couple of people commented that on the video where I mentioned Bulgari, the designer, a lot of people said they saw an ad for Bulgari below that, which means that the ad revenue for my video is going to increase because they felt my video was appropriate to then lead on to an ad. I don't understand how that part of the algorithm works, but it meant that a most likely a high paying ad ran underneath. So my CPM for that video or my RPM, the amount I earn per thousand views should be half decent. I don't know what that is yet, but it gives me the idea that maybe I need to start inserting more product names or brand names into my videos in preparation for an ad below it. 
because this this is the first time that it's made sense to me, but it's the like it's not the first time that I've heard of ads being shown after my video. Good girl, come on then. What are you up to, dude? Da? Love you, good girl. Good girl. All right. Are you gonna help me, Dudo? You gonna help with this? No, Dad, you're a freaking weirdo. All right, cheers, Dudo. Okay, so this is gonna be needle mat, sound, und, light. That's German right there for and. Okay. Um, I think the other challenges have gone well. Red Bull, we managed to overcome it. The charger, we beat quickly. And so I'm feeling good off the back of those. Um, I think the natural wave, I know I tell you, or I say that I don't want to use the ADHD, but there are times, like to me, I genuinely, like you might think differently, but I genuinely feel that this is a very natural way of making this part of the video versus trying to emphasize that I have ADHD and it causes me all these problems in life. So I'm thinking that the setup want is, um, I want to control my distractions. Want to, hey Duda. Oh, your beard's all wet. Hold on Duda. Distractions because of ADHD. What are you doing, you weirdo? All right, that's my want in this. Because the overall want is to be able to fall asleep. Not fall asleep, but get to that deep relaxation hallucination stage. So the point of no return. Oh, wait. This want should come as a result of um, the high brain function from the Red Bull. Because of high brain function, Red Bull. Brilliant, the point of no return. Set up disco lights. Disco lights and speaker. Okay. I've just realized that Shay's probably gonna have lunch ready for a minute and I don't wanna do the flipping needle mat with a full stomach. All right, the disco lights and speaker, the catches. Like the simple thing to say here is ADHD I guess before I do this, I have to pick out a flaw. Like what's wrong with me? because it can't just be that I'm easily distracted. Because yesterday I was over, able to overcome that with the breathing. What if I think I'm ruled by ADHD? Yeah, because the message here that I want to convey is that I find a lot of people with ADHD seem to think, and I'm not saying they're wrong, seem to think that it controls them rather than developing the ability to control it. 
you know, within reason. So con the floor is controlled by a DHD. The catch is that, which has to show that I'm controlled by ADHD. What's the video? Um, let me. Shem. Oh, God. Did I? I don't know what I just said. There's a video where I use the pen pinball machine. I think that was the second video. This is a torture bed from the 1200s. And this is a bed of 6,000 needles designed to give you ultimate relaxation. So I'm gonna lie on it for 20 minutes a day to see if it relaxes my soul. Yesterday I tried this for the oh, very first time. Jinkies. And lasted a whopping six minutes. I just couldn't get relaxed. But experts say the key to relaxation is breathing control. A little research and it's pretty obvious why. Breathing is to relax. Stage. But it wasn't until that relaxation point that I realized what was holding me back. The breathing exercises were working. My heart got the better of me. I thought knocking about, you have many demanding your attention to the point you can't even focus. And instead of just one thought, my blood pressure was dropping up until my mind got the better of me. See, ADHD can make you feel like your head is a pinball machine. And instead of just one thought knocking about, you have many demanding your attention to the point you can't even... <laughs> I remember that video now. I wanted a pinball machine where I could drop in loads of balls. Couldn't find one, so I just had to like make do with whatever that was. It's just a load of balled up pieces of paper that I dropped in to show like, these are all the thoughts that are going on in your head. Okay, so we have my want, I want to control I want to not be so easily distracted. So I do something to test myself, but the catch is that um, might be too much. Uh, no, it should be Don't know if I can control my ADHD. Don't know if I can control ADHD. And actually, this isn't, this isn't about me being controlled by ADHD. That's the underlying thing. Instead, it's that I'm not confident in myself. Right, so lack the self-confidence. But this, I, I like how this is gonna flow into me being confident in abilities. Oh my gosh, abilities. I've, I've even dotted all four of the eyes. <laughs> right, I don't know if I can control the ADHD. So now the viewer's like, oh my gosh, is he going to be able to do it? Um, yes, of course he can. Well, can he? Not sure. Um, so, I think the first part is I think at the point of no return here, I'm setting up the disco lights and the speaker. And then I say something as I'm lying down on the mat. The asterisk denote an action. <laughs> so then First thing is, I was thinking, 
I was thinking that I then I'm like, oh, the disco light isn't bright enough. I need something more. So I shut the curtains. But let's have them shut already. Because I hit this point, I'm starting to lie down. And then... What music? Like maybe some Hey Arnold? Hey, hey, it's a really good... And get along with each other. It's beautiful. Sorry. I didn't crick my neck. I don't know. I was working out this morning. Didn't feel anything until after I'd showered and was on the way out the gym. So I don't know when I did it. All right, so I lie down. What do I try? I think... Like, there's part of me thinking that I go the direction of um, like increasing the volume. Like let's say I start off and it's really not that bad. So I go about increasing the volume of the music and add more lights. No, because then I have to get up and the viewer's probably going to think to themselves, oh gosh, here we go, we're starting again. You know, I think we show the speaker here, but I don't actually turn the speaker on because then this won't make any sense because the user won't be able to hit user. So I'm stuck in my corporate world uh, type stuff. Viewers not going to be able to hear it. So I think pick a playlist. Mm. But I kind of just want to get straight into it. Could just be as easy as as I started the music. Uh, pick favorite playlist. And then what does that make me want to do? What if it, I pick my favorite playlist and makes me want to party, which bring me, brings me back to shotgunning the energy drink from the day before, or the two days before. But then what? Like so, but actually, my mind being in this place of partying is not what I want because actually you need to be absent-minded. Pick favorite music playlist makes me want to party. And now I'm thinking I can take this two directions. I either take it the shotgun Red Bull, which I can't get out of my head, or I take it the direction of only thinking about parting, partying. Oh my gosh. Both of which Bad because need open mind. That's not the right phrase, but a vacant mind. But I won't use the word vacant because of the fifth grade reading level. Bad because need open mind. Now, 
I think we go the shotgun route because that then gives the, uh, if it's a new viewer, viewer, it gives them a reason to go back and check that other video. Okay, so let's, let's do that. Pick my favorite playlist, it makes me want to party. Um, think about how to shotgun because of comments, right? And that's actually all wrong. Uh, do we then come down to the, the result of that is then the crisis which spits out some options that we need. So I think about how to shotgun because of the comments, but the problem was, see there's part of me that thinks we're too early to go into this crisis. Think about how to, what about, so I then try, think about how to shotgun because of the comments. You know, I think, let me, let me just map this out, I think, I'm thinking about the comments, no, makes me want to party and like I always struggled with partying because I didn't know how to shotgun and now I'm thinking about all the comments that people left me on not knowing how, so thinking about practicing and then we're going to have shots of me actually showing that I can do it. And the crisis is that um, mind is occupied. So time left. Mind is occupied and need to think about nothing. Right? Okay. I think we can throw in here another comment about Americans loving their, uh, it depends if I use those lights. I reckon in here I put in a comment like about the lights makes me feel like As if, um, seeing this many lights, no, I feel like that's just too much. I'm trying to relate the disco lights to an American cop car chasing someone down because there's, there's so many bloody lights on those things. But I have to explain that in a way that everyone gets and then I have to make the comment about Americans loving their cops. I'll have, a, I'll have a think about that. Um, Americans loving cops, question mark. Okay, so I talk about the times left, haven't gotten anywhere. Time left. Um, Control distractions because of ADHD. All right. Um, what was I about to write here? Time left. Um, no progress made. Mind is occupied and I need to think about nothing. 
right? The mind is occupied because of the lights and the speaker making me want to party and then thinking about how to practice shotgunning. So then I have to make some, I have to decide what I'm going to do next. Am I going to This will be interesting because I want to see what you think. The banana here could be that I change playlist. Like I'm not going to change it to a song that's heard like white noise or something. I think like that's just cheating. I think then the viewer will be like, oh, well, well then you're not really doing the challenge, are you? But then I could also take it that direction by saying when we want to improve, we should make small changes. And then add in more as we're able to progress. Let's do that. Ch yeah, so instead of, um, I c so choices here are turn off lights, um, turn down music, And I decide that I'm going to change playlist to white noise with the realization that we're not always able to improve first time. We, um, how do I get this across? in a tight manner. When we're struggling, we should make small changes. When struggling, we should, this should actually come down into here. When struggling, should make small changes to improve, then try again. Right? I like that. And then the finale, alarm goes off. A slight twist in here. So normally we, the normal thing is the purple pulsating, but I wouldn't be surprised if the pulsating here changes to, like instead of just being in the center of my eye, vision, whatever, there's lots of them, all different colors happening around. Cause that has happened just with like multiple purple circles around. But I wonder if now they would change color.
I should note in here that the, the lights are still on. And um, so I'm trying to reiterate here that when I pick my favorite playlist that makes me want to party, I should say the pick my favorite playlist mixed with disco lights. Makes me want to party. I'm not quite sure how to fandangle this end bit. Let's see. Like a disco in my eyeballs. Okay. I think that's it. All right, quick read over. So I go from being, I lack the self-confidence in my own abilities to control something I have to being confident in what I can do and I, I manage to make changes. So we will have the hook and then um, yesterday I raced to see how fast I could get to the hallucination stage. A few days ago I tested if I could get to the hallucination stage after shotgunning a red after shotgunning an energy drink. <laughs> Rookie's shouting for me, hold on. <laughs> Alright, let's get this bad boy set up. Does it open? Oh. It does if you do it properly. Knife. Flipping boxes where this notch thing is made too big to come out the hole, so you end up just ripping the pack. Oh. It's on. I really need instructions. It says batteries were required but not included. So why is it there? Is there a motor that like powers that? Charges up as it goes around? I think there is. Three double A's. <sighs> now I hunt. I'm not going to take you just like walking around, so you can wait here. <laughs> Three different batteries in there. <laughs> that one's actually an Amazon rechargeable, but it didn't fit in one of my things, so I had to take all the labels off. Okay, I think I want to get a shot putting it up on the wall, the ceiling, sorry. See what it looks like in here first, actually. Okay, close all the curtains.
Wow. Look at this. Doom, 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 And then I just, gosh, that's enough, Oliver. All right, let's stop this for a second. Can't blow this C. There we go. It, it, it's nowhere near as bright as it looks to be on the video. Like, let's do it manual. This is what it's actually like in here. So then turn this on. Very nice. So then we're going to have this coming down on my face. Bloody hell. Okay, that's not going to work on the ceiling. Um, I am going to have to hang that over me somehow. How do I do that? This mic stand back here. Excuse me, plant. Yeah, I think that is going to go over my noggin. So if the headrest is there, my only concern is that this doesn't just like fall off. Let me switch back to auto mode. There we go. All right. So if this is going to be like just here, yeah. I think that's pretty good. How do I strap it to here though? You know, I don't pride myself on being like a good DIY type of guy. I actually hate, sometimes, most of the time I hate doing DIY. So, Don't really do it very much. All right, uh, that's going to go there, and then I'm going to hang it. Shall I use tape? But I would have to film this bit, wouldn't I? Was there to control my distractions, but I really want to control my distractions so my ADHD doesn't get the better of me. The challenge was to, okay, I don't think I'll say anything while I'm doing this. So I set up the disco lights and speaker. But I have to say something about not knowing the name of the, the Sony speaker because it's too bloody long. Okay, I'm going to put you on a tripod. Wait. No, I'll just film this with the other camera. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Come on, you daft cow. That off, then we're gonna go onto this bad boy then we're just going to film me putting this together ow I 
think actually we'll go for a low angle. Yeah, so we'll go from down here. putting this on because well, what am I thinking I am thinking that let me put my Shrek Crocs on like I do need more light on that So this is going to be the shot here. Okay, so I'll take that out of the shot for now. And here, I'm going to roll this out. nice acting, pretending like I was walking off camera. Hmm, no in this bit. I feel like I need to be walking over with this camera, with this. So it like shows up in the shot is what I'm thinking. Too bright. I just turn this off. Should get a shot of me turning the light off, shouldn't I? I'll do this bit again. Just strap that on. Okay, that is the one. Yeah. Okay, there, and then the speaker. So we we'll stop recording that, and then I would like to get a shot of putting the speaker in place, maybe.
Uh, don't ask me the model name of this Sony speaker, all right? I, it's, I don't know what it is. All right, don't ask me the model name of this Sony speaker. It's too long. <laughs> um, do I want to do that? I'm just... I think I just put the speaker down now. Do I mention it? When do I mention it? Is the question I'm asking. Where should I pull the speaker out from? I think that's a weird thing to do. Pull it out from between these books. Now, the reason I'm doing this is just as a something for people to comment on. It doesn't help the story, it doesn't do anything else. It's literally just something for people to be like, why the hell are you storing it there? Probably need a light with this. Okay, that'll do there. I think I can always redo that part if need be. I hope those batteries don't run out. All right, and then I think we'll do the rest on you as I'm sitting down. All right, um, I'm gonna get you on the tripod, hang on. Okay, now is the part where I start lying down. Let's get you out the way, get my shirt off so I look sexy. Ooh. Then we'll get the speaker in a different position, probably so it has some the name brand on it. Yep. Okay. Are right, you ready? We are recording. Uh, we are recording, and I don't know if I can control the distractions. Oh gosh. I don't even know if I can control these distractions with my ADHD. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get. Oh, you're quite bright, aren't you? Freaking jinkies, bro. Yeah. <sighs> Yowzers. Oh. Yeah. You, you just don't want to move too fast at the end, do you? It was like there was a disco on my eyeballs. <laughs> Ow. Oh man, that was actually really good. You know, I reckon I could have done it with the shutter house. Ow. That shutter house was banging, son. You're kind of annoying up there. I gotta roll off. Get stuck to you at this point. Ugh. All 
and have a look. Pretty rubbish. The light's still going. It's like the down... Literally looks like I've gotten sunburn. Burnt. All right, we'll turn you off. You were good, mate. Good job. Shrek Crocs came in absolutely killer, by the way. Okay. Hmm. It's still connected. I don't know what it was, but in my head, I felt like the alarm was coming through this and it was super loud. I feel like that's a subconscious thing where I've been thinking in my mind, the alarm's gonna go off at some point and it's gonna come through that speaker. And so I've imagined that it is going to. All right, two minutes later, Let's see my back now. Oh, my friggin' neck. Is it bad? Does it look bad? Okie dokie, all right, let's get my shirt back on. Okay, let's, what should we do? I was thinking of getting some, all right. So you know we talked about me having to shotgun, right? Well now I'm thinking about what do I shotgun? I have a load of cores upstairs. I haven't drunk a beer in, aside from when I just went home, I haven't drunk a beer in. Oh no, there was one day I had a couple of beers, but aside from that, maybe a year. That's pretty weird, isn't it? Uh, I'm looking for can soda. I'm looking for a soda that people like think is ridiculous. People are like, oh my God, why the hell are you drinking that? Should I do like a Canada dry ginger ale? Might be kind of funny. Root beer, Fanta. No, I think I do, I do a Walmart own brand of something. Yeah. Let's go and get that now. Actually, let's edit everything. And then when I go and get that stuff, that'll give me a chance to like, get out of here to then come back and review if I like it or not. Okay, let's transfer the footage. Yo, can you imagine how cool life would be if you just got to do this? Just sit and chill. I would love that. Are you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Uh, all right, so we cooked up the fattest edit. Let's walk over here, so I'm not talking. In front of everyone. But we, we cooked up the edit, didn't we, Rooks? And now we're gonna get some gross cola. I actually would drink. I have no preference between like brand named cola or home brand cola, but I know, but I know people will. So we're gonna get that. And then I'm gonna shotgun them in the shower. I'm still undecided as to whether I actually shotgun them properly or just still make a mess. 
but I do know the transition clip is gonna be me splashing it in my face. Where's the, where is it, Rugis? What'd you do with it? But we did, we were able to get the, I say we, I got the edit finished up to the point where I just need to film and insert these clips, and then I think we're good. I don't, do you see any, no. do you see any home brand cola? No, no. More, you want to hold this? Yeah. Sure, okay. Look, if you tap that, you can see me, you can point it up to daddy. Oh, <gasps> can you see daddy? Do you see dad? Uh. You're gonna turn it off now. All right, best bet is uh, a four pack, this one. The friggin' acid in a can, basically. That one's got stuff all over it, Rugi. It. Can I see it? it? Whenever you buy cans from a store, check like in the tops of those, or at least wash them before you drink. There's stuff in them everywhere. Are you gonna have one of those? Uh. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm letting you have a Mountain Dew. <laughs> okay, put those there. Good job. I think that's it, Rugi. Sorry. All right, should we head home? Uh. Yes. Can you say yes? Sorry. Uh. Good boy, ass. Nice. I t the self-restraint in me. Are we still recording? Yeah, we are. The self-restraint in me to not grab a bag of Pringles right now. Very impressed with myself. What, what other weird things are canned? Do like a can of beans or something? No. Uh, canned meat, like canned chicken? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. No, no, no. Do you, uh, you want to open those? Uh, hey, what's my name? Dad. Yeah, good job. What do you want to do? Uh, do you mean open? Uh, oh, okay. So can you tell me what do you want? Uh, open. Uh, yeah, good try. Uh, okay, when we get home, we can open these and give them to the doggies. Do you want that? You want to give them to the doggies? Yeah, let's do it when we get home. Okay, good job. Uh, I actually think this is a way better idea, but can I be? Okay, we're gonna open them when we get home. You have to wait till we get home, okay? Good boy. Yeah, and I feel like actually, for that effort... Like really, all it just takes is a couple of people to notice. And then in the comments. What'd you, what'd you want, baby? Yeah, we're gonna open it when we get home. What if it's... Oh, here's an idea. What is this? Chocolate flavored natural energy, nutritional energy drink. Milo, Milo? Mama. Okay, no, we're just gonna stick with the Mountain Dew Ruger. Matt, Matt and Dew. Do. Open. Uh. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go home now. All right, let's go through the checkout. Uh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Okay, you can hold on to it, but we're not opening it until we get home. Can you hold on to it? Please? Yes, good boy. When I met you in the summer, you were fine. Okay. Let's pay. Let's pay. Um, I'll just turn you off. 
All right, Rubes, I'm going to ask a question. I'm not sure how it's going to go down, but... And I really don't mean this in a mean way. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry, guys. Thanks. But for someone who's really, really fat, I mean, like, hyper-obese, is it just really... Is life just really difficult and unenjoyable, just, like, moving anywhere? I felt like that would be... Like, to me, it's really uncomfortable when my belly folds over, when I'm, like, cramped over. I just, like, I'm never going to ask someone that. So maybe if you're really fat or obese, can you tell me, please? Thank you. All right, let's go home. All right, I have gone back and forth on this a little bit. And I think what we're going to do... <coughs> You've got like three seconds of time that I have to fill up. Three seconds of time and yeah, like I said, at the end of the scene, it's got a smash and come in my face. That's not the first time that's happened. So I think I'll practice the movement. So like go like this. And then because I've been shaking it a few times, I'll then go to stab it and it just sprays in my face and then it cuts. I like that. Yeah, you know what I was mentioning earlier in inside of Walmart? Look, see all the black bits on the cans? Like in and around here? That's on every can I looked at. I only looked at about 12, but... All right, so I'll just record this bit. I need a towel first. How's it going? Just trying different things. Shake it up, make sure you get maximum mountain dunus. The hell? Why didn't that come up way higher? Oh, it's more like it. Oh, no. <laughs> it's on the flipping ceiling. That's actually really annoying <laughs> to clean up. Okay. I'm gonna shower. All right, I'll be right back. Just so we're clear, I am actually kind of annoyed that I sprayed that on the ceiling. <laughs> Cause that's the soup at the stickiest flipping one ever. All right, so uh, screen record. I'm now pulling the clips of me like pretending to shotgun. I think that one could do. Right there. Nice. And then we're going to rip it to the end shot where I get myself. Perfect. So here. Right, and 
there is where I cut it. Yes, you big boy. That was weird, wasn't it? I swear, literally over the last two days, since I deleted all those other volumes, I did that a few days ago, it's been, my computer has been so slow. In my head, I practice the... Let's go, oh, dude, this is gonna be so cooked up. In my head, I practiced and practiced until I was snapped back to reality. Oh, I could I was snapped back to reality. I practiced. I think I should extend this a little bit. Practiced until I was snapped back to reality. I could listen to it. Okay. Get this tightened up. To reality. I could listen. Snap back to reality. Um, do I want, I'm thinking about adding the stabilizer effect to this one. Let's just see what it looks. Uh, no. Back to reality. In my head, I practiced and practiced until I was snapped back to reality. Oh, that's right. These are meant to be with me sleeping underneath. In my head, I practiced and practiced until I was snapped back to reality. I could listen to a shot house all day. In my head, I practiced and practiced. What? Okay. In my head, I practiced and practiced until I was snapped back to reality. I could listen. To Snap back to reality. I could listen to a shot of Bro. I'm I like that a lot. Okay, let's do cap cut captions. I haven't sent it to my have I? Yes. Now I've got myself in a slight predicament of do I try this again with audio the whole time? Or do I just forget about this one and then go on to the um, kaleidoscope one. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It'd be good to know your opinion, but I also don't want, if, you're, if there's anyone watching, I don't want you to be upset if I don't choose your option because I'm currently a, like a day behind on this video, a day ahead. Right, so this edit, this, this video, I filmed two days ago, not the day before. Bro, bro, I clapped that edit. Don't know what that means. Dude, it is chaos, flipping chaos in this house right now. So I'm gonna stick this on, give it a quick once over, and then it's gonna go up on the talk. So yeah, I'll have a think overnight. See you tomorrow. Lots of, we'll see what juiciness. Yep. Okay, bye. <laughs>